pool you're choosing from. And I would agree. I think TA is more likely, but we'll see. Yeah. yeah. Once you mention I'm like, that's exactly the kind of way they play. It's yep. a hero that matches up well against Brood because of the side blade. The idea is you need a hero that can defend itself. And not only that, but as you mentioned with a hero like Bristle, the problem is Brood just going to outfarm you. But TA can yep. keep up and with Brood. You threaten him a lot more effectively because of the traps that now yeah. also do damage. So you can kill the spiders. The issue with Bristle is that even if you're killing spiders, it takes too long. Yeah, and they just regen through. So yeah, yeah, you hit them with two spines, but now they're just running away hasted. You're not going to get the third off. They're still alive. They go farm. Uh, I I don't think you can pick Brood right here with the dry, with the uh, TA still in the no. pool. Do you think I is it gonna be is it gonna be eleven going mid on the Brood or is they possibly gonna throw it to the off lane because it is Ori tiny and eleven on Brood. Uh, they'll probably put the Brood side lane. Mm. Do you like that? Ah. They have to. I they think. To. I'm just I'm just not a fan of the pick in general. To your point, like yeah. isn't tiny just like an off laner? Yeah. I, I just think it's a better role for the hero. Yeah, from I what agree. I've heard, Tiny wins the first three waves of any lane, yeah. and then all of a sudden, you're not winning the lane. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So that's it's just heard. perfect for an off laner. Yeah. And then the items you buy are so cheap, yeah. but you don't they don't seem right for a two-player to be buying them, but it's like Shadow Blade Echo Blink. At, that's your, you hit a huge time on each point. After that, what, like your AC? I mean, yeah. that Tiny's <laughs> 15 a minutes later? Level 1 to 3, he's strong. And then he's weak, level 4 and 5, relatively. And then he's, like, strong again at level 6. So yeah. it's just like, yeah, you're right. He, he does yeah, win the first yeah. few waves. And it's also, you want to buy bottle on the hero. Yeah. And you, you need to be in the side lane if you'd like to do that. Yeah. So they, yeah, bottle's not nearly as effective in the mid lane as it used to be. So you guys, you... You think the TA like really spun the draft around here? Or do you still like the brood last pick? Mm -hmm. I think the brood last pick is completely negated by the TA, but it looks like are they putting the brood mid? They are. Oh Double man, it, it all comes down to the matchup because brood brood can snowball and crush a TA. I just don't think he will. And it, part of it is the damage numbers: forty-eight on the brood. What's TA at? It's like Six fifty. It's yeah. Sixty-six. Yeah. Without. That was based on that's so she's yeah. up at the 66, and that's, that's without refraction. How much? That's like almost 20 damage. That's true. Wow. That's grand grand level math right that there. That is. And then you add refraction into the mix. Like, you actually just can't CS unless you have spiders. And if you're CSing with spiders, they're getting side bladed. Yeah. So. The whole idea and about Brood is she's supposed to be forcing a ton yeah. of rotations and reactions or at least out farming the, her opponent, and that it's not how it works against Ooh, TA. Here's a mechanic for you. If Broodmother pops ult and attacks TA through refraction, does she lifesteal? No. You're right. I, yeah, it's another way. No. Oh God. I'm under the impression lifesteal works based on how much damage you yeah, exactly. did to the hero. So it's just like the same idea. If somebody has 10 health and you crit them for 1,000, you're lifestealing 10 health worth, not... Are you positive on I that? I don't know if that's how it functions. It is. You know, I think Wraith King lifesteal functions that's differently. Serious. I'm not actually sure. Oh, oh, oh! Snipes it! Sto it uh, SVG out. with that quick impale for the for the rune, so they get three on the side of VGJ. Or, no, they only get two, two still. Two, yeah. Huh. Oh, I guess they won, like, the right-click battle top. Yeah. This is great. I'm just, like, sitting in the middle, and you, you give me, like, a dual monitor setup, and I don't even have to use the camera. Yeah, we know Thanks your guys. Uh, one welcome. task is enough for you at uh, all yeah, times. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a multitasker. The, yeah, the mid lane's the one we definitely have to pay attention to because it should Top just be a farm chance. fest. But at the same time, <laughs> it's one of those things where this line, this is a matchup, will snowball one way or the other in terms of farm speed. Yeah, this is the way you got to play it if you're brute as well. You just have to hit the TA. You can't out CS him, force him away. He's gonna miss the CS on the archer. Did he get XP? Oh, he'll get XP. Look at this. This is how you saw Rezo playing it on Drow. When he knew he couldn't out CS, he just oh, right the double value. That is actually value. Doubles. So what's going on bottom? This is the Kunkka hero. We only see a couple, right? Just a couple heroes play that still in the floor. We are going to see initiation. It's going to be a nice pop up there by Lan and Paparazzi will just do some scooch damage and run away. But so why don't we see Kunkka as much in the four roll as we used to? Like what happened to the hero? Hmm. Just his toolkit isn't as good as other heroes, or I I just don't think it's as it doesn't do as much damage in the team fight in comparison to a lot of these other heroes. Like it's hard to play Kanka. Yeah, that too. You know, like Dark Willow, you just hang out. CM, you just cast your spells. But it's much like Earth Spirit. It's just too complicated, and you can pick other heroes that are going to have a more uh, predictable output as yeah, far as their impact I on the game. I was trying to get there, but. It's it's Sorry. And it will be a first blood on MSS. Ori will pick it up, and there's going to be two kills bottom. They just run at each other now. 
It's Weaver. Weaver versus Rake. Isn't aren't bugs just super value in a lane like this? Yeah, for sure. Well, you just throw him on, like Wraith can has terrible base attack time. You try to attack yep. him off, but you don't. I think Vici's definitely going to be favored in this bottom lane. Maybe even both side oh. lanes, but they mid know. is the issue. Yeah, they look. They placed a sentry down, but won't find anyone quite. Do we have a sentry to counter? We do. It's on Lan M. So we'll see if they sentry the sentry or Dude, not. Dude, he went boots first again. Yeah. It's just Lan M doing Lan I, M thing. I just don't know, man. There's a stun from SVG, but Torrented will be the king. And it is snaking in the safe lane while Resolution is top lane on the Mirana. Arrows the range yeah. creep. I, I like this, Trace. I don't think you ever want to put a melee hero against Tiny, especially one that spawns creeps. Yeah, for sure. Middle lane, though. 11, Yawar, and it is 25 versus 12 to the TA doing good. Look at that damage. Just pumps it on out. Brood not feeling too hot. There's a double damage bottom. Looks like it will be picked up here by Boots first, Kunkka. The value. Two that would have taken him at least an extra five feet. seconds to get there. And out top lane, Shadow Realm. We'll just get Pop do a little bit of damage here. It, and it also, it turns your whole attack into magic damage. So if you get the W off later on, uh, the Fates Edict, not the Fates Edict, the thing that Oracle has, the W, it'll do zero damage, which is quite nice. Oh it yeah, is Fate TD. Yeah, wow, yeah, there you go. Believe in yourself. I was like going to correct you, and I'm like, hmm. And you were correct. I'm used to having to, you know, edit what you're saying, but that time around. So, well, where do you go right now? Obviously, the TA is going to have the most last hits. I mean, that's mm. playing against a brood, but the top lane is actually going very well for resolution versus the tiny. Is I mean, I think that's to be expected. Like, Tiny, zero armor here. You're playing True. against two ranged heroes. But I'm, I'm telling you, I'm just afraid. Once TA hits six, I don't think Brood can play mid anymore, especially if he doesn't have a sentry. With a sentry, it's possible. But you're going to be the, – the thing Brood fears is heroes that can kill his tower and force him out of lane. TA does both. Well, top, AK, bottom lane. It's going to be a one stun into another stun. The sentry was countered, so Dyer does kill Radiant Sentry, which saves Paparazzi right there. Good job by Lanham. But another stun's gonna fly. If you didn't know, it does damage over time. It's doing a little bit snaking. Just gonna try SVG pop that mango, but instead he's gonna get turned on, so both of them are low. SVG got greedy. Top lane resolution kills Fenrir. That's gonna be the worst support, right? You're like, I'm about to get a double kill. And then you just get kited the entire time. Go down, but look at this. Roots are gonna be placed down, but a Whoa. nice job, Ori. That's hard. The fancy footwork there. Looked like if he wanted to dodge that, he was going to eat an arrow. But now yep. he dodges every ability. He Nicely done. He was in the force, but he certainly wasn't blind. He was not. Wow, dude. The t oh, my goodness. Look at that. I mean, that's, that is TA that's versus the, Brood, folks. And that is, that's like two creeps. It looks like about nine times nine. Give He's me only that hit 81. like 200 net worth, but yeah. I mean, obviously the CS is the quite XP inflated. too. Look, he's almost a full level up. Well, not really. He's like uh, almost a half level up, which is very nice. And he is level six now. So do you think you, you have to buy him a sentry? He has to buy his own? or Somebody's got to buy one. Yeah, so I mean. Her? Nope. The, the concern is that you're going to have your tower pressured. And the trap spam, you can put one behind the tower, or like all around the tower, essentially. And then if Brood runs on top of it, you pop it. But the gold lead is in favor of Vici game. Mostly it seems like this bottom lane is going reasonably well for them, even though Weaver is pretty low on net worth. Everyone's pretty even still. Mm -hmm. No one's taking this crazy TA-like lead. Yeah. What's it's just, it's just an, again, a question of like who makes plays for Vici gaming. And them connecting to the brood lane. Oh, Weaver getting caught. Wow, the skeleton yeah. damage. Oh my Too much. goodness gracious. And look at they're gonna keep going. Yeah, stun continue. again in one second. Level three stun from this the will be another game. kill. Look at the skeletons coming, like you say. Those things right do so much damage. 37 ahead. Holy moly. Spook That's why spooky scary. Oh, top lane. Looks like there's gonna be initiation. Resolution though gets the air off. He leaves for he will, but the magic damage. See you later, says the Oracle, but it won't matter, Ori will still drop, but you do see a little bit of the power of Oracle mm -hmm. stopping the double star storm. Well, I said Vici Gaming had a lead. Now it's more than a thousand gold lead for VGJ Storms. Nice. The Dark Willow laugh. That's something. Yeah. 
I was, I was like, waiting going. for that to yeah, end. I, I know you were <laughs> trying to talk over it, and at some point, bottom lane, Snaking's in some trouble. The bug, he finally gets it off. Should be a kill, though. It yeah. will be. And that's a mega kill. 321 for Paparazzi. So close. You even know, it looks like, yeah, you know, or he is going to get his own stack. I was checking stacks. He just didn't have any. Did he? He missed, too. Didn't even get his own stack. They got the D ward bottom as well, which is really important. Mm. I think this is, uh, this isn't looking too bad for a Vici yeah. game right now. It was it was that top lane, bottom lane, but then you you get the counter kill, and now yeah. you're this, a little bit fine. This is a big timing for them. I'd like to see them connect on mid to the brood lane, like get a kill for him, preferably yeah. with Lanham. But it looks like he might go down. I'll be fine. Oracle's here as well. Yeah, Oracle they, will. They get the root off. Dude, these bug. Look at the bug. He he has to kill it though. SVG. I think SVG needs to help him kill. They will purge him. Got level six on raking just now. He just hit it off the creep dying. And he's gonna stun in. Resolution gets a kill on. Oh! Him. Big boy crit coming out from Snake King. Dude, Lan M needs to be careful. If you didn't know, Resolution as well rotated middle. So they Dude. Vici Gaming took what you wanted for them to do, and VJ Storm Dude, uh, rotates. I don't like that they rotate bottom. Like, what serve? What purpose does that serve? It's an off lane Wraith King, and yeah. he hits six. Uh oh. You end up getting turned around, and you need to get your brood ahead in the mid lane. Should be okay here again. We have that. Yep. And Resolution knows this time. He's like, I'm not wasting a leap yep. and Star Storm mana. Dude, they, they got every win. spider Imagine. mid as well. Like, that, the whole tempo of the Vici lineup comes from this mid brood. If TA it shows up with, like, a Deso blink 14 minutes, 15 minutes in, like, I actually don't know how you stop him. Like, his blink timing is going to be crazy fast. And look at all the low armor heroes on Vici. I'm yeah, the thing about this TA brood matchup is it's all about who gets that first Roche. And, it's, and that first Roche is all enabled by who can pressure who out of lane. And like who, because of who can pressure who out of lane, they'll hit their timings faster. Possibly they're fording top in order to well, in order to push or just dive the tower. The bug Instead, Dark oh Willows here hexed up Weaver. You're not level six. Wow. Yet, Dude, they have so much burn. Like the the Rezo? Raid King crit plus that Rezo will die. What was he doing? Well, yeah, you better you better There's say sorry. Kill, looks like he's really feeling himself up there. Doesn't get it. But I will say, we mentioned in the draft that we wanted to see a lineup that really threatened Weaver when yeah. it's a first pick, and these Willow Lion cores, or support, sorry, are exactly that. The Weaver does not have free reign this game, and a hero like Weaver, when he having to play scared, is much less scary. See what I did there? What build do you want on Broodmother? I did see that. <laughs> okay, just making sure. You, Kyle's a little slow, so we've I usually seen, have to well, What's attention. the newest build nowadays? Like, I've seen uh, quite a few stuff. I've Diffusal seen Diffusal Blade. I've been seeing. I've Dude, seen. I'm telling you. I mean, against TA, it's a bit weird, but I stand by. I think three three showed you the best way to play Brood like six months ago. You get H O D every game, and he goes pipe. And in, but they tenth pick it a lot of the time. But like H O D specifically is the item on Brood. I feel like pipe is meant to make it so your spiders never die. But this yeah. game, the way they yeah, kill them the exactly. Side, so probably and won't go there. that's the TA factor where the entire game you threaten spiders. Yeah. And um, especially with Deso, you just one shot them with one side blade and one mistake from Brood, all of a sudden your powers. Oh, they're looking. Gone. Lan M. He has level two X. Will he get it off the trap? Slows them down. And Yawar, he'll just run away from there. And there you see, it's a three for one bounty or. Pardon me, there's a lot of bottles. Yeah, it's bottles two for are two. back. Yeah, two for two. I was like, well, that was eight back. Now that there's bounty runes, it's so much nicer and you for you to get the there. and you can mm. buy it at the side shop, exactly, or secret shop. Yeah. I like that Snaking chose to max stun this game, especially with uh, a lion against a super low HP hero like Weaver. It's just yeah, they so much pressure. Early game, so. Yeah. Padding the stats on that one is really nice. We have a real middle. Oh my. A blow up there. SVG yeah. with just the TP rotation. He, I like it too because uh, Awar kind of baited it in. He wasted his, ref yeah. not wasted, he used his refraction and then the brood was probably I, pretty good. I just feel like both both these games, all four of the games we've watched, it just feels like EG and VGJ understand better where to make their oh, moves to. It. Yeah, bottom lane. He's feared. Do we have any crits? We do not. He does have an ulti. He will wow. just go back. He has a regen rune as well. And now instead, X goes on MSS. He does not have any abilities to save him right now, and he will just go down. Radiant will get the middle but tower. Look at how much was invested. In the meantime, the Brood has died twice. The TA kills mid tower. He's got a blink now. He can go farm ancients, then rotate wherever he'd like. Where did they find that kill? On the support underneath their own tier one tower. It took what? Two TPs? Just one TP? But three heroes, it's like cost of three heroes, like you said, yeah. people don't realize it, the very. It's just like real life, right? You go to a job, you get paid for your time and your exactly. Work. Just like Are you getting paid for this? What? I hope so. Oh shoot! I love Dota. I need, I need to read. I need paid in great Dota. 
I will say, Ori's being forced to go first item go. Blink Dagger with no treads. Or that's yeah. just not good. Yeah, that's like... That feels bad. You can bad. tell he's in a bad spot when that's his choice because he knows he has to drastically change this game because treads means you're happy farming for a bit longer. You just want to mm -hmm. play your lane. But he knows yeah. that this game's getting out of hand pretty quick. It, it's strange to me that they value Tiny this highly and they play it like too exclusively with Blink Dagger every game. I feel yeah. like the strength of Tiny is once again the the versatility of how you can play it, yeah. and specifically from the three position. If you try and force this blink Radiant two position yeah. snowball, I'm going to kill everybody by myself, it just, it's so all in. Yeah, TA already has a blink dagger of her own yeah, working dude. on. Like, and, like and the brood is fourth in net worth, man. Like, this hero had to be ahead. That's just the TA matchup. And as long as the TA understands exactly how to play the matchup, it's uh -oh. really unwinnable for brood. Middle lane. They're looking, but... They see him. Looks like he will just get away. Simple as that. SVG skill build four two zero. You like it? I like it. He's. I don't think you need man. His, his lockdown this game is incredibly mm. impactful against all the heroes. That's super value when you're playing against the Weaver as well. Dyer's it's helped them land a bunch of kills on. So why don't you go mana drain in a lane like bottom? Uh, speed it out, because I, I I know the like time you spend like draining mana, you're right just gonna way. die. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can stand there for more than a few seconds. Dyer's so I do want to say one of the, I mean, I don't want to say new, but like one of the most common skill builds I believe is like pretty much just two zero one. Or like Ooh. so, yeah, at least yeah. the one zero one. So why is one, it yeah. why is it bad? Explain to the noobs, just because. Yeah. If you go, it, that's the build to like stun and harass people. But at the end of the day, it's Which because is good in a two it versus used, one. It used to be good, but like now you want to find kills. Oh, top lane arrow under tower on the oracle. It's gonna hit. Got gets him. the double. Gets the kill. Well played by Rezo. He almost has a male. He has a maelstrom and two creeps. Forced out a weaver get. TP too, and they see this, so they're probably gonna try to apply pressure either bottom or mid. On the side of big, BGJ, still big move from BG. There. It's like five or six minutes later than I would have hoped for, but they are going to finally connect on mid. It's just, the, your wire's already pushed the wave. He's going to just get out, out of dodge, right? yeah. And he knew. He, he popped a trap at the Ancients and got a bunch of gold just trap on, on, on Spiderlings. So bottom, they show a couple of heroes. Middle. I'm sure VJ Storm knows something's up. It looks like both teams kind of know the rotations. And this is the difference with the new Wraith King, right? And the old Traps. Wraith King didn't have to respond to him when he's pushing towers. Now, you do. Just great yeah. movement from Storm once again. Weaver TP top, right? He's bottom now. He had up to around. walk all yeah. the way back here. Mm -hmm. They just run. They just pop Marana ulti and get out. And that's why you apply pressure the minute you see the Weaver come top. Because yep. you know if he wants to get bottom, he's going to have to walk all the way there. So you forced him effectively to not farm the entire yeah. time he spent walking back. And this entire time, your two cores, Rezo and Yawar, they're just free farming. Look at Wraith King. He's going Radiance. He's got 3,200 gold towards a Radiance at 14 minutes in. This hero is not considered a flash farmer. Yeah, with treads and a wand. It's yeah, not like he, just it's went, not like he went the brown boots, you know, yeah. naked Radiance rush or anything like that, which please never do. Oh, we have a Tiny on the backside. Does get the blink. Kills SVG. They're going to look for more. A bring back will come. Wraith King does have ulti if they want to try to come down here. Terrorize will hit, too. He's going to try to TP he's while out. terrorized, and he's gone. It's a great TP decision. Well played. And that's top. Yep. He caught the Kunkka. And now they forced you bottom, and now TA takes top yep. for free. How close to Tesso? So? Well, moving. not for free. 11 is going to get the tier one tower middle. That's true. So it's a, a one for one trade, but obviously, as a brood, right, you, you're they probably going to take more than that. They're going to collapse on top of this trap. He will go over the hill. Now he's hiding in the trees. Another trap goes down. He's actually out of webs. He gets back in him right there. And oh my god, the spiders, though. Oh, so close. Nice job by yeah, 11. Just for fun. TACS is 228 at 15 minutes. But you see, they're going to get bottom tower as well. So it is a decent trade, but top lane getting pushed in. They know, right? Resolution and, and y'all are having such they're, a great They're game. planning on fighting this. Rezo's TPing in late. That's interesting. That's different. TPing after the tower is actually dead. And I, if VG has this. to be onto something here. They get wrapped around on by the supports. Tiny lands a two-man combo. Will he gets the boat in here. It should hit on most of them. Yeah, SVG and MSS instantly blown. Resolution just running away, snaking. You're going to drop. His ulti goes up. In comes. Here we go, though. YS from the backside. Snaking it's another stun. Resolution's here. Has the Maelstrom. And now an X comes out. Snaking has 21 charges still. But look at on the backside. Lanham, he gets ulti by Fenrir, though. He stays alive. And now they're trying to bring everyone down. Fenrir goes down. Or he's going to take a ton of damage as well. He's done. Lan M goes down. And the three cores of Radiant just massacre everyone else. But wait up. The last man in the fight. It's going to be 11. He pops his ulti. Snaking should go down here. Possibly. But he gets bursted down immediately. Paparazzi will even go for the kill. He tries to. And now he's going to ulti run back. And well. 
I can't <laughs> believe that fight went so well for them. I think you're just ahead with items. They yeah. knew they had the TA blink death zone. And he just shredded people there. I thought that was the the Awa, right? He blinks in. He knows who to go for. They they use an Oracle ulti to save another support, right, instead of a core, and then mm -hmm. they just kill both supports. And now we have a, a go already popped out. wonder it, if they muted all of them because they were tipping. It, Vici got lucky there. They had, well, not luck, I suppose. They had a three-man boat, two-man tour on both sick. supports. They immediately went down, but they extended the fight. TA gets there so much faster than Brood, just as the nature of the hero and, of course, the blink dagger. And then, like, did he, Brood even have webs? Like, yeah, he placed them, like, placed all the too. way through. But he had to walk from, like, the river to the bottom lane. And I, I question Storm's decision to even defend that tower. It works out for them in the end. But, like, the tower's already dead. And as we said in the last game, who cares? It's your bottom tier one, your radiant. Yep. And there you see... That seemed like a high risk, Fine. low reward play for Vici J Storm is what I have is my overall opinion on it. Yeah, they ended up winning and they because they're head by five K net worth going into the fight, but yeah, it was an odd decision. Mm. I think that they're a team that from what I understand playing pubs with them is they think we're ahead, we don't give yeah. anything to the opponent for free. It even if that little even that thing is a very small, unimportant objective. Mm. Also, just that they're going radiance on Rafting, right? So he's just taking that fight with like thirty five hundred gold. Yeah, he's he, Two-thirds of his net worth is not effective right now. It's not doing anything. It's just sitting in his... He's, he's saving like, up. He's getting that interest. Do you like the Radiance in this game, though? Oh, uh, I think it's like fine. Or Armlet Blink or something. It, it's never bad. You're playing against three cores that all need right clicks to do damage. And you're so far ahead. Like, there's no reason to go something like a Blade Mail if you don't need to. But this is going to be one of the LAN M's. He's... I mean, he's almost level 10. He is farming, getting a little bit Radiant of items here and there, but I think he's just going earn. Yep. The way I look at items like Radiance for a hero like Wraith King in this game is they don't need anything else from him. Mm -hmm. If they needed him to do something else, then the Radiance would be quite bad. But you're seeing they're allowed to play the game they want to play. TA is in no rush. She's got the Blink Deso, but she's still farming. Bottom. Some trouble bottom, yeah. Thanks, the mana burn talent back. was taken on Weaver. Going first item BKB on Weaver with nothing else that in between. feels bad. That's, once again, when you're behind, you have to make some adjustments that you don't want to make, but they know they have to fight their way back into this game. They're not going to out-farm VGJ Storm, and you're seeing that in the item build, so VG game. Man, I can tell you 11 is so mad right now. He's checked both times. It's like just ruining his pattern. The single ward that's blocking this Ancient, he's checked twice now, and he's like, they definitely have a ward now. They might counter, and it's just gone. But destroys his farming but Ori he's got blink he's got his treads do you like the echo saber Dyer's next instead of like shadow blade if you go blink if you don't have an echo you just don't have any burst you don't do yeah. you do a little bit of damage and then after uh, that you're just but useless this, this is the issue with this blink first like now what like yeah it's nice you can make some plays happen get a pick off here and there but He's sixth in net worth, and you fall off so quickly. It doesn't accelerate you at all, is what you've mentioned time and mm -hmm. time again. It doesn't, like, Shadow Blade at least gives you attack speed and damage. Yeah. But the Blink, if you're not Radiant killing somebody, it's an item top. that you're not too happy with Dyer's using off cooldown top. to farm anymore because the long, long enough cooldown where you'll miss kill opportunities if you Blink too much. Yeah. Uh, Paparazzi just continues to farm the, the bottom lane. jungle. Yeah, I was looking top. It's just been MSS, yeah. He gets killed. Finally, he was just he was just like hitting that tier two by himself with SVG behind him. Look at S O, oh, if they find him in those trees, but they won't. But that's a little space, honestly. While Wraith King farms his radiance, it's one of those things where when you're the Willow in this spot, you're just a support. You're like, I'm gonna farm this lane, and if they decide to kill me, then so be it. But because I'm farming this part of the map, if they don't deal with me, I'm gonna be a support pushing their tier two. So they're forced to gank me rather than gank my Wraith King, and that's something you can do when you're ahead. Up here with Oracle. Maybe they're they have blink. Resolution should be a little bit careful. It's a tough kill, but you are just so farmed right now. Yeah, I saw Sheepstick queued up for him, but he's gonna go BKB first. Yeah. I like TAs nowadays are oftentimes going for the Scythe of Eyes rather than going Orchid Nullifier because it's just less gold to do yeah. better things. It, especially since you really don't need the damage and you're playing against an Oracle in this game. Yeah. So you just blink hex, whereas if you were to Orchid Nullify somebody, they're those just both get cleansed. Yeah, a lot of the, a lot of times I'll get asked about stuff like why are people going sh side the vice instead of orchid, and right now it's just better no, as an item overall. You can't counterplay it. Yeah. it's a timing now where you're strong for the rest of the game. There's nothing you can buy that's just like oh they have a hex like I'll just get this and we're fine. Yeah, exactly. If you see them yeah. have an orchid, there's so many items that yeah. are cheap like a Yule scepter 
or even like a lot of agility carries are perfectly fine building Manta, but like mm -hmm. or a BKB. It's, and it's a, the when phrase you see that, that heck, it's like, like top uh, of the stack, right? Like if you ever played card games where they were like mechanics that you would just you just keep playing them on top of each other until somebody wins, yeah, right? Yeah. There is no card to play on top yeah. of Hex. It's you can build a Lincolns, and even then, like it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't arrow! Solve your problem. It is gonna hit, but the tiny does have that the status, status effect, and it will take him back a little. He's gonna dodge all the magic damage, but now look who's here. It is gonna be Awar. He's doing a ton of damage. Pops his BKB. He's gonna be killing SVG on the back side. There goes Ori. They're gonna look for more. They're just killing bugs, actually. Paparazzi trying to run away, but we'll just run away. One for one trade. Ah, I, I just don't like the fusel on Brood. I, uh, it's not? a weird item. It enables your spiders to hit people, but I don't know. It's an item that I feel allows you to control your lane, and he isn't in a game where play, you do You're that. playing against, like, three heroes are all going to naturally buy BKB. It's actually, they have two now and another queued up. I just feel like you're going to have a hard time getting into these fights with food. You're a tower hitter more so than you are an actual team fighter. It's just literally how fast can I farm and then take my advantage to take out objectives. Yeah, the fact that Snake King had the luxury to go Radiance yeah. in a game like this, it's the complete opposite of what BG was forced to do. They were forced to buy Blinks and first item BKBs because they knew they had to force fights. On the other hand, he's his Wraith King that would traditionally be their initiator, so that's why he's going Blink potentially next. But he says, we don't even need initiation right now. We don't need to take fights. We're just going to farm three lanes, and you'll be forced to come to us. Mm -hmm. So he gets to build the really luxurious item. And that's a lot about how these pro players think about their itemization and something you can try to learn from when you're watching. But they are going to find Lanham. Nice play. Torrent, nice and, play. Uh, that's sending a message from SVG. Just making sure they get the kill. There's no reason to take any risks, hold back abilities. Why? You know, mm -hmm. wh why are you holding onto that finger? I like it. They take out top lane or top waves, take Roche, and then you can just immediately move into the other area of the map, play mid, play bottom. We're seeing this very often on Radiant teams. It's a very smooth transition Ooh. in the game. He was stunning. Will he get to terrorize? No, cancel it out. And just the disarm. As we talked about, disarm pretty good. I mean, it's a good defensive and offensive ability on Oracle. And it's just good movement. Once again, Aww. resolution. He's like, all right, guys, thanks. I'll stay bottom. Now I'm going to just hit this tower. And this is something where BG's not going to come to a resolution because yep. if they bring heroes, BGJ Storm it, will just it's, pin you. Pin it's you also down. inefficient because look at where um, Storm's position. Like, they're mid. They'll just walk That's over. That's exactly. Do you, I'm actually really surprised. I've heard a lot of uh, pros say they think the 15 strength is an ability. I mean, the 35 skeleton damage is so good nowadays. Yeah. The 15 I, strength I've is seen like, people take hit. both. Yeah, I mean they're both nice. Fifteen strength I, I, is three hundred and thirty health. I think when you have radiance, you, think it, you just want to survive longer. Yeah, especially okay. since your crit is base strength, uh, base damage, if I'm not mistaken, and it's all damage. So it is base damage too, though. True. It means it's part of it. Yeah, yeah that, that's what he was trying damage. to say. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I know what you're going for. Well, top is Kyle's all about boring. sounding like he doesn't know what he's talking about, but he's really just testing us at all points. No, I thought it was the opposite. I sound like I know what I'm talking about, but in reality, I'm just riding your coattails. Okay, that's fair. I mean, that's what's really happening, but I wasn't going to call you out that hard. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. So he does have the Blink Dagger complete. Courier flying out to him for the Wraith King, and they, they did this whole maneuver where they take bottom. We've seen it time and time again, and now they're back to top lane because they haven't taken that tier two. SVG's in Viz, though. Not smoke, just and invis. Just, and VG knows that they keep letting them just take objective by objective. They're just going to slowly but surely lose this game. It was 5k, now it's 10. Yeah. And yeah. they look at the tower. They've melted. Like, it's such great play from VGJ Storm. They just sweep the map, kill the towers, place wards, and then they just rotate to the other side of the map. Now they're top. They're like, hey, we have age still. Let's just walk high ground. And that's the important thing to think about in this patch is from VG's perspective, what were they supposed to do about this? Like, the way Vici's J Storm is playing mm -hmm. this clinically, there's no counterplay. It feels like, yeah, it's the same as first game, right? Like they oh, they the tossed the Wraith King in, but the X, D synergy? And it should be. I mean, he has his ulti. He finally will go down. Radiant's burning. He can be on through. Come out. There you go. Yawar, yep, there's the ulti. And now they're getting in here. All the BKB pop. That's going to be a lot of rum on Evra. But the Tiny just dies. They do get Snake King, so the Radiance is gone. MSS dies. And... I think all these 10 second BKBs are just too much for VGJ Storm. They push base. They get a tier three. Will he be able to blink out? It's what? He gets. Oh, we got him. Do they not have detection? No way. Oh, what? no. What does he do here? You got to blink out eventually, right? 
Oh, oh, he's going for the kill. Okay. Oh my goodness. He's styled. He knows they don't have detection. It's you know. Is that flying oh, on the courier? It's sentries on the courier. But I think it's the other one he has to give him. Yep, he's going to give him the land. Swap X. him out. And now he uh, does. He will find him, and it will be a kill. SVG, hello. Like, where's my team? Rezo's still falling mana. Where you at? Damn. Yeah. Oh, the one yeah, I wonder where he is at that whole time. Yeah, it just, the one oh, arrow hits the weaver. Blind, no way of blinking or anything like that. Yeah, that and bounty runes are out, so that's an important objective. They that still get the tier three, though. Yeah, teams I, are I thinking about right now. We see Paparazzi immediately TB bottom, go for the bounties. Something you should do as a core whenever a fight ends and bounty runes have spawned recently. Gets the haste rune as well. Oh, okay, he gets it on the weaver. Breaking I think you're fine with that from. trade because um, with your storm, you keep the game even. But now you're able to take shrines and then set up for an extra Roche. You're not yeah. happy about it simply because that's best case scenario for VG, I think. Yeah. I'm not. It's not in any way changing their game plan. Like it wasn't addressed, uh, like you said, catastrophic or anything like that. But definitely mm. VG needed that. Etherlands completed in full on Kunkka. He had no gold going into that fight. Yeah. He had just the Void Stone, and so uh, he got a lot of gold off that. Uh, I want to see them not go for Tiny anymore, though. I think the Brood specifically, uh, and the Weaver, if you can lock her down, are the targets. What? I think the Hex on TA will change things. I think, didn't they, they went for Brood, he just got Oracle ulted? Yeah, yeah well, Brood got Oracle ulted. I think he did get healed to full, though. Yeah. Definitely could have committed a little more damage, but... Yeah, it's really going to just be the Wraith King or the TA just killing the Oracle at the start of the fight, yeah. and then you're free to go for the other course. Anyone you want. Yeah. Is it... I mean, these BKB... Obviously, that's why BG even, like, won that team fight right there. They're 9 to 10 mm -hmm. second BKBs. Like, Resolution... Resolution doesn't do that much damage if he doesn't have the Maelstrom Mjolnir procs. Mm -hmm. I think once those go to 5 seconds, it could Shadows definitely help, but we're going to see a... Shadows yeah. coming and over the land. The Oracle has great synergy as well with these two cores, Weaver and Brood. Weaver, because obviously you'll get your time lapse off, no problem. But Brood Mother, when you're healing for double thanks to your life steal, like you actually just keep yourself alive. You don't even need the Oracle once you get that ult on you. Oh, we see Paparazzi farming. It is still a 9k lead for VJ Storm, but VG Gaming, we've seen they can take fights. The question is can they take fights outside of their base? Yeah, it's a lot different when the opponent team's going high ground on you. Roche is still the next objective that really matters. It's going to be spawning in the next two to five minutes. DD rune top, if somebody can scout that out. A lot of good DD rune heroes in this game on both sides. TA on one side. We have Weaver, Tiny, Brood. They're going to get on the Marana. He has a bottle as well, so that's even more impactful. That's Still minute and a half minimum. So, uh oh, VJ Storm though. They want to go in. They throw the stun out. It's going to be on the tiny. Tiny gets arrowed as well. Will there be an ulti? Fenrir hasn't popped it quite yet. Boat on the backside, getting him everyone rum. Yo, what? He's going to be fine. Paparazzi gets the kill on SVG in the back, and now he ultis. Do they have dust? They sure do. They get it off after the ultimate. Can they bring down? They do. And now Levin's going to run in, just right clicking onto this TA. But he's taking a lot of damage. Nice two-man torrent though. This should be a kill on the TA. Sure is on the backside. Tiny will go down as well. But this brood is the problem. They turn back around, snaking, haven't even killed him once yet. He's now stuck inside, he's in the pit, but they won't go for him. On the backside, Dark Willow. Dark Willow's just bullying two heroes by himself. Finger comes out, almost kills Kunkka, finally goes down. Good and focus fire by the Brood there. there. And now Snakey hasn't even popped his ulti. He's like, please kill me. <laughs> he's been trying in Rezo. But he's he dancing on the out. haters. He is. All right, not anymore, damn. But wow, that was, that fight, I mean, it was a five for two. The biggest thing, it looked like the Brood was just going to run over, ran over the TA, but right, once the BKBs are down, if mm -hmm. this line has good positioning like SVG yep. does. It was the buyback, too. Yeah, I think that buyback. that was very crucial because his buyback or his death forced the Weaver time lapse. That then landed a kill, and now he buys back. He's the one that helps finish off the Brood. Well, th the one thing about this Radiance build is that in They're the way the lineups out. look, the lineup of VG wants to completely ignore this Wraith King, and you can't just yep. ignore him anymore. Yeah, it's a good the, point. Because of the Radiance. He actually does damage. He did so much in that fight, just walking around. And you saw that's pretty much what he's going to do in fights anyways, if you really think about it, no matter what items he builds. So it might as well be an item where he's dealing a lot of damage. He's going to Salt Kiros, by yeah. the way. He's skipping the BKB. And you just have the luxury to do so. That's that's the beauty of it. And he's about to hit level 20, which means the Mana Burn no longer applies from the Diffusal or the, the Weaver Talent at level 10. So he can ult at any fight. Some and he's got the full AC so, done. Yeah, I think it's a really insightful point because the TA, the entire game, has issues because you're going to have bugs and brood just ripping through your refraction. You're always going to get targeted. There's no real save for you uh, when the core is BKB. But if Wraith King is a threat, 
all of a sudden you can't ignore him. Like yeah. as you can see, they oh try. Oh my goodness! Ooh. They're gonna that be easy on the backside. He's got a ghost scepter. He does. He used it, but he will get stunned now. Now he can't run that way because Dark Willow throws down some roots and they're just bailing on him. They almost found the kill as well on Weaver, but they'll take that. That's, yeah, Tiny's that's had wrong. to get real creative here. He's going for an E-Blade, something I saw but has not mentioned. It's just something where he realizes that he's going to blink in combo, and if he doesn't have a Ghost Scepter, yeah. TA and Marana are going to kill you instantly. And, and this is, uh, I suppose it really is a three Tiny, even though their mid player is on it, just because of the Brute Factor. And it didn't play middle. We're going to see. Just, let's, let's take it. Shride bottom Simple taken shrine. only by Wraith King. That's pretty insane how much damage this hero does nowadays. The structures yeah. with those skeletons. So much minus oh. armor now as well. TA death so I am the melt strike. No one but Brood has enough armor, I think, to not go to zero. Yep. Let's see. Well, is it just we're back to this? Vici Gaming just has to fight inside a base, or do they, they possibly... What can they do? Smoke gank seems so difficult for them. I uh -oh. honestly don't know. They said to knock him up. Here we go. Is there going to be an ulti? There sure will. So he's going to be alive for now. Torrent will send one up, but like you said, it doesn't matter if he, he has, has level mana. 20 talent Stay on Wraith King. King. Yep, he's fine. Slows everyone down. And for now, everyone's just going. Terrorize is going to be on the backside. It hits onto two of them. Snaking gets a stun off. Can they bring him down? This Radiance will be gone. X marks the spot. Bring them back, and they might be bailing. Looks like VJ Storm is, but 11. He has a defusal. He finds SVG. Roche is up. Is quite out of. Me, but he's gonna be fine. Lines trying to run away, but Ori will help Fenrir get the kill. And now, yeah, as you said, Roche is up. They take. A, they if they can get Roche off this, this is huge. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if VGJ still gets the Roche, I don't think that has much impact on the, the problem is, this game. The problem is, can VG Gaming even, like, they're gonna go. They don't know, right? VJ Storm doesn't have buyback. They know SVG doesn't have buyback, but it won't matter. The they're trap. gonna go in anyway. They have Brute Mother Ulti to sustain. Do they know? Uh, would he have Hex yet? No, he went Hurricane Pike instead of Hex. Mm. So he like he, he delayed his Hex. I feel like that. There we go. We're watching traps keep going in, but I don't think are they gonna try to steal it? Nope. Okay, now that they managed to get the Roche, that severely shuts down VGJ's next timing of the second Roshan. And TA in this kind of game heavily yeah. relies on that second life. And and goes to the decision to skip the hex. Like, weren't they in a winning position? Like, uh, the pike is a game is just not a game winning item. It's not a game changing item. Yeah. It further allows you to do what you're already doing, but that hex yeah, makes like, it so he can just jump the oracle, yeah, and kill him. The wraith king, I think, does the right move there, but there's no threat now. They, they can't kill the oracle. Yeah. They cannot kill oracle. Wraith king has to force you to not ignore him, mm -hmm. and then the other heroes have to make it so they capitalize on them going on the wraith king. Yep. And uh, this game gets scary. The one issue with TA is that the hero falls off. Falls off hard, especially when you're against all of these heroes. You know, the Manta, the Spiders, the Bugs, all of the, uh, even the Torrent. If you're not BKB, the Torrent removes your entire refraction, and all of a sudden you're just dying to physical damage. The Hex is like your, your game changer. Yeah. And here we go. Smoke gank bottom. Might be SVG Tangan, or it might be Reza, which would not be Tangan. As a this would be a giant kill. Yep. He's going to pop it immediately. He's gone. He did go. What do you think of the the eye of Scotty on Marana? Uh, he wants to do it for the burst damage, but I think you have sustain issues. Oh, Ori, they get the kill on SVG bottom. Pardon me. And I now they find another. I honestly love this ghost scepter on Tiny. There's so many times where they would have gone on him that if they know that if they go on him, he just ghost scepters, so he's not gonna die. I think that's kind of hilarious that this little item in this game can save him so much. Last game he built a blade mill in a not so ideal game. In this game, I think the Ghost Scepter is really serving its purpose. He wants to burst one of the supports if possible, but he doesn't want to die in the process, so he's giving himself that time to... Like, these heroes like TA are heavily... Like, they, they suffer when the heroes are able to draw out the fight for an extra few seconds. Yeah. They rely on that first couple of seconds of burst. Um, level 20 on Weaver, plus two swarm attacks to kill. Just one of them. Really good ability, right? Makes the Wraith King not just run around. Makes everyone not just run around, right? They have to kill that bug. And now it's a 13k. We see VJ Storm. They, they keep gaining gold, but like Kyle said, TA is only so good with so much farm. Brudo is working on a oh, Daedalus. They find Lan M. Here comes the boat. The rum will get on him on the backside. Snake King finds two of them. Fenrir goes down instantly. Yep. Paparazzi pops speaking. He almost dies before Ulti comes out. Lan M should be dying here as well. Rum saves him a little longer, but now we're going to move yep. forward. 
Will Yawar go for more? Oh, Yule's into the air from MSS. Trap will pop down. Has a BKB. Probably wants to disjoin it. Ooh. Manta dodges the stun, but Brain Drax goes down. Pops ulti now. Oh, the eye of Scotty slowing down. We're going to see a stun cost combo come out. Snake King will slow everyone. There's the Hex. It looks like from SVG. And now Tiny goes down. Everyone just dying. Fear on the max line won't. And it's one. And now they're looking for this Broodmother. It still has BKB, but I have Scotty pretty good. They're killing all the bugs off him. Well, it looked to be a, maybe a decent base defense, but they just can't. Tiny killed, bought out for Eathblade. And they, they killed the Oracle. Yep. And now, yeah, like you said, they jump on the Oracle in the bag. There's no save. Yep. They have, they have to play so and, much and differently. Tiny was bought at the time. Broodmother hadn't linked up, so both supports go down right at the start of the fight. You can't contest anymore if you're VG Gaming, and now you're in trouble. No BKB on Brood. Now, see you later, Tier 3. Boat. You're going to have Wraith King ult up again very soon as well. And that's the thing. Boat's up, but so is Wraith King. Well, he can just frontline all he wants, and it's up. But look at that. Hex comes out. Ulti will be there. Doesn't unhex, though, as you guys were timed out early game. And now Brood is just going in. Fenrir dies. Up in the air goes, but he'll just slow everyone down instead. Wow, the Hurricane Pike. Is it? Yes, it will be. And now a buyback comes. Lan M's and Latrell stun comes out from Snake King. Right clicks the flying. That's a kill now. It's just 11 versus the world, as well as Weaver. Tiny's coming. See? Yep. But another kill. They haven't out. lost two lanes of Rax yet. Yeah, and Snake King actually as well. Doesn't have ulti. He's tanking tier threes here. Tiny on the backside. Looks for SVG, but Moonlight Shadow saves he him. Blink out. Oh, my gosh. oh, and look at this. This song, they can't hit it, but he gets the hex off. SVG. Lightning on top. Well, Paparazzi's here. As well. oh. Does he even have a blink online? No. That's it's crazy. He's had such an incredible impact on these fights, even without one. He's got a vitality booster. TA running away. Obviously, can blink in four. No mana for a fraction. If he loses the charges, only four left, three left. No, nope. gets the blink up. Has no mana, though, so he can't TP out or anything. They know this, and they're going to keep chasing. He kind of messed up his pathing right mm -hmm. there. That, that pathing might actually have just destroyed him. We'll see, but it's nighttime. But oh, no, oh, that's not good. Oh, they saw him. They saw him. Oh. He has blink and one oh. though. Oh, I love it. They put the purge on Paparazzi. Maybe it hits. Oh, the bugs. Now the bugs. He's he dead. has mana for milk. Guys. Oh my goodness Hello. gracious. They're gonna fly down. Chicken's flying back. Wait up. This oh. hashtag space created. Wait, I'm watching. Here it comes. I like the tips. Here. Buying some time. The sentry. Oh my god. Oh, he blinked back into the other sentry. Now he should die, and he will. They don't even need the courier. But meanwhile, that whole time that VGJ Storm's lineup was dead on the Marana, they just didn't get anything done other than kill the TA, so. Still a big kill. It is a big kill, but when you get these kills in your own base, you want to be able to turn it into something. And because of the time that they bought on the bottom lane, they're not going to be able to actually turn it into anything. And this Wraith King is almost done with his Abyssal in full, which makes him even more of a threat for a hero like Weaver. Can probably burst him down full to zero with just a Abyssal stun, which is instant, into his own stun. Or just do it to the Oracle as well if he wants to get That him. too. That's the thing. Like you said, they found the Oracle top immediately. They don't They do not do anything. Yep. I think it's going to be the script of this game. Uh, your kill on Oracle is going to give you another axe. And um, I think they just need the one more, and that probably closes the game. Third Roche comes up about five minutes or so. Until then, probably expect both these teams to play a bit passively. Uh, VGJ, they have a nice ward up top inside the dire base, but not really an easy one to capitalize on. Yeah, you just know where they're at. Mm-hmm. And they're, there's they're a gem on Lan M, by the way. Sorry. Yeah, it's just there's just not much pressure on them right now. You know, you you're in a you're in a winning position. It's just a matter of not making that critical error because your TA does fall off were you to hand every core on VG Gaming and that extra item. And yeah, dude, the brood talents. That's something worth discussing. Let's discuss it. Look at him. I'm looking. 20% CDR. 50 attack speed and then 60 damage. Extra. Now on your own. So now he has 200% lifesteal. During the Oracle, yeah. he has 400% lifesteal. Yeah. But they are Moonlight Shadowed Up, or whatever you like to call it, because you never remember names of anything. Who? What would you say, Chris? Talking, talking to Kyle. Oh, what did you say, Chris? Got it. Uh, but yeah, so they're sm they are Moonlight Shadowed Up. They're not going to find anything. Is that a level 25, Marana? No. So that is a relatively long cooldown. Does have the MKB done. Uh, I guess just to deal with the mischance from Brood when she hits you. Oh, the smoke, it instantly it throws. Maybe That's not who you want to find, though. Ground. Yeah, but if you can burst them down quick enough, they have to rotate over. And look at this. 
Marana not in a good position. Coming over now. Finger comes out. Will they kill the Weaver? Instantly they do. Oh. Yes, buyback. Buyback time lapse. He comes in. He BKBs himself. The boat comes and kills Snaking. SVG immediately. The stun hits on two of them. They're going to try to run to the other way. Paparazzi. Jawar. Will he be able to get out? He has blink up. He will blink away. They won't chase. Dude, cast animation on the Oracle Alt is. Yeah, he was, two he seconds was like away. back swing, mm -hmm. ready to slam the ground because that's what it looks I, like. But I, it's the decision to buy back you have to make if you're Paparazzi because yeah. you're not turning that fight otherwise. But it just sucks Metal. that it's not going to be on cooldown when Roche spawns. He, he has, has BKB, one, but no TP, lane. and the the He's brute passive dead. goes through BKB. He might just trap. Be dead here. Nice. Oh, the shrine though. He gets the defusal, but. You gotta be careful. He's overextended, but he has his team nine. A paparazzi fender. We're gonna have a buyback from Snaking. He will have ult again. Ulti comes out from the Oracle, saving the brute. They're just trying to burst him down through it. I mean, not burst him through, He's but they're gonna do sure. a lot of damage. He gets I healed think. about three times. Paparazzi stunned up. We'll follow this young man. Oh, oh almost in time. Now, paparazzi's dead. And that's game. And it that's looks like more than likely 120 seconds. 100 seconds Weaver. on both cores I, at least. I can't believe brute died there. That's nuts. And Weaver. Just I mean, before the regen, too. Like that that Marana hits really hard. Oh, yeah. That, the MKB factor, yeah. right? Because the mischance of the Brood no longer affects you. The leap attack speed, I mean. Well, here we go. They know for sure Weaver ain't ever coming back into this fight yep. until 90 seconds. They'll get another melee. He's, he's go thrown. Hell, yeah. Play, you got to play to win. Yep. Play to win. There we go. He goes forward, actually gets the hex up. Oh, my goodness. This tiny just could almost die instantly. Gets his BKB out. He is ulted as well. He's trying to square up on him. Good game, well played. Okay, the game is over. Yeah, See when you later. have two cores with no buyback at this stage in the game, Ooh, when you're that far behind, <laughs> they're just going to end it on you. So, and NA casters, NA stream. NA victory. N it's been 4-0. It's been interesting. Would you say, I've seen a lot of people still valuing VGJ Storm uh, extremely high. Like, coming in this event, how strong do you Dude, think they I were? I saw a power rankings where they were like 12th. Which yeah. is some shenanigans, all right? They are certainly a top 10 team, <laughs> and I'd be very surprised were they kept out of... I, I, I've got them top six if they perform. There's very few players yeah. that can come to TI and play better than they do during the regular season. It is very much a tournament of which teams come... They, it's hot, then. They're hot, and most importantly, they play to win. They play crisp, and they make plays. That's why when we see Sumel, he, he, it's, it's playoff LeBron. No. He coasts through the regular season to the dismay of his teammates and the captains that then get removed from his team. But when it comes time for the big show, He's there. he steps up. And will his brother, YS Yawar, will he be able to do the same? Seems to be. So far, revolution. so good. Those yeah. two, right? Like They're two of the most farm cores like together on a team. And they always seem to play well, and that's... It's just amazing. The last two games, right? Snake King's also found a lot of farm. I noticed that at the summit, right? Mm. He was getting sacked, and they were losing a lot of games. Yeah. But now, all three. Are Snake King's very good at capitalizing they, on having good starts, so I like that they are prioritizing him a bit more. I'm concerned about it. You can definitely see the, the NA meta present in the way these two teams are playing. Yeah. Very, very greedy. Three core lineups with a lot of innate synergies to allow them to scale throughout the mid and late games. Yeah. And the supports, heavy disable, and team fight focused. And the they have none of that stuff on the cores. The cores are just, mm -hmm. like you said, hit creeps all game. Yep. So Buy exactly. items to fill in the gaps. So what about Vici Gaming? I mean, they, they pulled out something different, right? First pick Oracle? Um, I just think Oracle's too weak of a laner. I think to Weaver's pull too weak as well. Okay. Um, but it looks like we had highlights. Even on the laning phase. That's uh, when he gets level six. Yeah. Right before he dies. The creep. <laughs> yeah. I think it's the bug gave him the XP. Yeah, I think so, too. Oh, no. I didn't notice that in the game. That's yeah. such a huge deal. Gets the huge crit, obviously. Probably would have turned into a kill. Yeah. It's anyways. funny. It, it's like a Scooby-Doo moment, right? Where they're chasing after, and then, like, the Wraith King hits level six. Like, oh, no. Scooby snacks. This, yeah. is the, this is the fight, right? I thought VJ Storm was going to get 5 0 here. And then yeah. the three farmed cores, right? Like, MSS Dude. is dead. So they hit a timing with this. Despite, like, the bad start to the fight, they had the Blink Deso on TA yeah. just come out. And, like, this is so weird to me. Even even after that goes down, it's not terrible for you. But then all of a sudden, your Brood and Weaver show up and to. Like, Brood could have been farming four ancient camps. And a side lane that entire time. Instead, he uses three web charges and just to show instantly. up in the bottom lane and die. Yeah.
And something we saw both games where the mid laner of VG was forced into a spot they didn't want to be in somewhere around 10 to 15 minutes, and it completely just like destroyed their ability to keep the momentum of their builds. And Brood felt relatively impactful later on in the game, to be honest. And imagine if she didn't do that, right? Like if she had that extra acceleration on her timings, and it's just one of those things where these little factors, these little decision making can really alter the pace of the game. And this type of fight, you know, several times they had no detection for this TA. Yeah. And yeah, that's true. He ends up dying eventually both times that we'll see it, but he buys so much time while the rest of his team is dead. Meanwhile, just nothing's being accomplished on the map after they get kills in Vici. They get these kills in their own base and they're stuck in their own base yeah. anyway. Uh, I will say, though, in all the games we watched today, EG, VGJ here, they were ahead like the entire game. The laning yeah. phases went so well for them. And I'm curious to see. Will they be able to execute these five-man movements? Because those, those are incredibly important when you're trying to play three lanes almost all the game. If you're and not if you ahead, don't win the lanes. Yeah. If you're not ahead, will you be able to make plays, connect as five, kill a tower, take a fight? Because it's easy to do that when it's it, when you're playing a draw lineup and you're nine k ahead. You can script the rest of the game. Yeah. You, you've like a ninety-eight percent win. You chance say walk you here, right. walk there. Yeah. And, and you just you just become a broomstick and sweep the map. Yeah. It's simple. Overall, though, VGJ made some sick plays in these bro. fights. Like, they played True. them very well. And these overall, just their itemization, the concept of how they wanted to play fights, knowing that they just had to not get bursted, knowing that long, drawn-out fights from the Wraith King would benefit them against a hero like Oracle, almost always going to reliably get the save off. It's just clear that these players are thinking about what the fight's going to look like and how they can enable the rest of their teammates to do what they need to do. And say, this was the the last hurrah. Yeah. For each game, really, they get SVG, but when you're forced to buy back in your own base and just get support yeah. kills, Amazing. that was the brood chasing the TA just a little bit, or the Moron, excuse yeah. me, just a little bit too far. And when you die, like we said, with two cores, yeah. then game is gonna be over. Yeah. And um, that is the last of us for just a little bit. Uh, yeah. Next up on this stream is going to be another North American game. Uh, Evil Geniuses taking on Invictus Gaming. It's going to be brought to you guys by Lyrical and Trent. Uh, you will see us again at the very end of today on the main stream where we'll see another EG game as they play Mineski. So we'll be back in like five, six hours. Uh, it's my first time casting TI. I had a blast yeah, this it was day. Yeah, a good series. Cup Clean, clean games, honestly, and yeah. it's nice to see the, what team plays better is the team that wins. Yeah, yeah. it's it's good Dota, right? It's yeah. not just sloppy. We're running at each other, Dota. It, it's Ti Dota, and it yeah. is a little bit more. So yeah. I need anything like, like what do what do you want to see Vici Gaming improve on? I guess last thing we'll ask. I, I feel like the drafting just is drafting. just. I think they just need to play their own game. Stop yeah. reacting to what the it, opponents are doing. They made two, I'd say, ba like just basic errors in yeah. giving Storm Drow in game one. And game two, you're ninth picking Brood instead of tenth and picking it. A TA. And yeah. yeah, you're you're giving it, it's simple. Like I, I'm sure Storm has actually played TA against Broods and at least two or three scrims. Yeah. yeah. Like it's just a common matchup. counter. Yeah. It, yeah. We're racking our brains. We have three heroes. They're all in the pool. They go with the one that they like the best, and they take the W. So. Yep. yep. Well, that's and it so for us. Said, yep. We will throw to a quick break. Uh, back on this stream, it will be EG versus IG. But well. We're going down for a little bit, so we will see you again soon.